Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Trophy Achievement Invisible Soldier. Where'd he go? For Metro Last Light. Uh, this requires you to complete the revolution level without killing and raising an alarm. So, I guess I should probably read or, but it does say and. So, make sure that you don't kill anybody. So, if you're going to uh, have to deal with any pesky baddies, make sure that you punch them right in the face with your old brass knuckles. And other than that, hide in the shadows. So, we'll show you kind of a quick route. It did take us a time or two to get this right. And really, it wasn't a matter of, you know, being spotted. It was the dead bodies that we knocked out. Or not the dead bodies. The knocked out bodies uh, being found by other soldiers walking around. So beware of that. And uh, just kind of follow, like we said, uh, what we do here. Because this will pretty much ensure that you won't have any knocked out baddies be found. And that you will make it to the end. And have a success story to tell us about in our comments. Yay! So, uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot of specifics here. Like I said, you can follow along and, uh, you know, I've been thinking about just uh, letting you guys watch the video rather than walking you through play-by-play, -play, but you know what? Play-by-play -play it is. So, punch the first couple of guys and head down the stairs. This is very important to allow this guy here to go and respond on the intercom. Uh, it does make the other guys a little bit jumpier. I think you can still beat it without him responding. But uh, just to be safe. And, yeah, watch out for this damn rat. I, I tried to see it in this video, but it, he runs off. You open that locker off to the right, and he runs off. So shoot him if you can. Not a big deal. Whatever. All right. Pow, right in the kisser. All right. He's knocked out. Intercom's done, so we can move on to the next room. Make it some good, good ground. This is sped up just a wee bit, just in case you didn't notice. Um, not a whole lot, but a little bit to kind of save a little bit of time. And uh, make sure that you flip the lights off because you will be spotted almost immediately if you walk out without doing so. And then make your way around the right-hand wall here. It does help to turn off all the lights along your path, but probably not needed. Uh, we did do this on easy, and it is pretty much uh, easy. So we recommend if you're having any troubles or just want to knock the trophy out without any troubles that you go ahead and stick with easy. Now, off still on the right hand side here you come around to this corner and there's a couple guys talking our timing was just about perfect where he was walking away uh, probably not necessary you knock him down but he does not get found so it doesn't matter uh, you never know you might actually need to because he might swoop around and catch you doing some other shenanigans here in a minute but this was kind of a sketchy situation here I was thinking about making a break for the door because these guys on easy are pretty uh, ignorant they don't see but like three inches in front of them but we'll play it safe and come over here, flip off the switch, and then give it some time because these guys actually spread out a little bit. Guy gets off the, f the forklift or whatever that is. And there you also get credit there as you see my screen kind of light up white. Get credit for listening to the conversation, which uh, we'll attribute to the good ending. So that might help out as well. And make your way around after punching that dude right in his jaw. Rearranging some of them teeth for him. And here, this is where it gets a little trickier. So there's probably multiple paths you can take here. We found ourselves hugging the right wall yet again and turning off the light. And we don't think you need to do this, but we came and uh, checked it out down here and grabbed the, the goodies from the box. But then we uh, actually backtrack and go back around so you, you don't need to go to that little cubby hole over there but if you need some ammo or whatever feel free and you don't need to punch any of those guys and watch this remember i said they're stupid look at this i just walked right by that dude and then went down a ladder he did not even notice me so hopefully you'll have the same luck higher difficulty might not have the same results but once you make it all the way through the tunnel watch this remember i was saying how stupid they are i wasn't kidding watch this I sat here for a minute thinking, okay, he's got to walk away because it's not fair to us to have to walk out in front of him and expose ourselves. Not in that kind of way. Keep it in your pants, people. But what we will do is get up and walk right by him anyway. So it is fairly dark. I did turn up my, uh, my gamma quite a bit so that you could see this level a little bit better. And uh, hopefully that will help you. This guy over here, pow, right in the kisser. Knock him down, and then we just make our way all the way around so until we get to this ladder. We'll climb the ladder, which 
first ladder in the game that I haven't had major troubles climbing up and flip the switch off. Don't even bother messing with that guy in the window there. Just flip the switch and climb through on the left-hand side where the gate's broken. Just as before, as you probably remember if you've played this level, you will actually uh, make it through just in time and the power kicks back on and then you enter another room that is a little bit squirrelier than the last. So it's amazing how we can just sneak through this whole level like it just happens to dump us right here up above. It's perfect. All right, and here we go. There's a couple dudes having a chat at a table here. If you've watched our diary location video, uh, you've already seen this little segment here because there's a diary sitting on the table there. But in this particular moment, there is not, and we'll wait for these two guys to uh, have their chat, and one dude walks off. Again, the screen flashes, giving us a, uh, basically an Intel eavesdrop that's uh, attributed towards the good ending. We'll knock his ass out and take his loot. You ain't gonna need that no more. And yet, one more time hugging this right wall all the way around. There's definitely a right wall theme here. This time it'll uh, take us to a ladder that will allow us to cross over to the other side of the room, leaving our faithful right side. And then we can actually drop down and jump right back onto another ladder just slightly up the left wall here. I would imagine you notice the uh, horrible edit when I switched from my compass to my gun and just kind of mid-fall there. Uh, what that was is I actually made a mistake and ran across the room and was found. But I was able to use the restart button and restart or reload last checkpoint. And it loaded me right there when I was walking across the bridge. And booyah kashow, I was able to uh, just load right back in. And I do get the trophy achievement, as you will see at the end of the video. So handy to know that if you do make a mistake along the way, um, it is possible to reload a checkpoint. I know that in the beginning I said I failed because my guys were being seen. But what was happening was I was, I'd was i made a checkpoint. And uh, that checkpoint was after the dude had been knocked out and right before they had been found. So kind of a unlucky save spot for me, really, because uh, in the end, it uh, no matter how many times I reloaded, I couldn't stop the guy from finding the dead body. So... Uh, this time we, we swipe the left wall, as you see there, we slide in and hug that left wall all the way down, right past the guy in the turret and right past the guy standing there. There is another good ending conversation there with a little white flash if you want to stand there and wait. We did not. Uh, there's a second set of barrels right past them on a right alley. Just kind of getting you caught up in the video here because I was flapping my jaw a little too long. And uh, once you get to these barrels, just hide behind them and you're in the dark and they can't see you. And once they slide by... You, my friend, are in the clear, and only one more dude stands between you and the end. And this guy is uh, legally blind in, I would imagine, all 50 states. So, and I'll prove it right here. Watch. He looks right at me, and I walk right next to him. Damn near had a moon landing. If you don't know what a moon landing is, uh, maybe get caught up on some uh, decent television. You know what I'm saying? If you can talk if you if you can name that, name it down below in the comments. Moon landing. What's what what TV show am I referring to? And what is it? All right. Well, level 11 revolution. We have owned you silently with the use of one reload of checkpoint. So maybe maybe owned isn't the appropriate word. I'm doing my little victory hop uh, in the little cast or cavern here and boogie shao invisible soldier so you can't see me made it through got that trophy all right enough of that it's gonna go ahead and wrap up metro last light invisible soldier trophy where we completed the revolution level without killing or raising an alarm feel free to head on over to facebook and twitter comment vote subscribe if you like what we're doing and you know happy thumbs gaming.com available for your viewing pleasure as well so thanks for tuning in hopefully you found this helpful tell us down below have any comments or uh, recommendations for us also tell us down below all right until next time so yeah.